there's something that holds all of us back and not just content creators but almost every single person and you might be the most skilled person that you know of in your field but if you're shy or not confident in yourself and your abilities to go out and do whatever it is you love doing well everyone else is gonna get themselves out there and they're gonna be better than you so in this video I'm gonna explain how you can feel confident in yourself and your abilities to take photos make videos or do whatever it else you want to be doing Hello everyone, I hope you are all having a great day. Today's video is actually a lot more important than some of the other videos that I've made. And surprisingly, it's actually not about how to take better photos or make better videos, how to grow on Instagram or get more likes on YouTube. It's actually about how you can take your skills and optimize them and show them to the world. Now, I know a lot of people are extremely shy and self-conscious of what other people think of them when they're out in public doing whatever and that's why it's especially hard for certain people to go out and vlog and this video is about how well you might have all the skill in the world if you're shy and self-conscious and you're not able to go up to people and ask them if you could do jobs for them you're not really going to be able to compete in your market let me explain it's really as simple as this. Taking good photos and making good videos is only half of the way you can be successful as a photographer and filmmaker. The other half that is quite necessary is knowing how to do business and also being able to make the ask. Ask the question and get your clients. And in this video, I'm going to share how I prepare myself to be able to go up to people in public and random people working at cafes or restaurants and get business. Here are my three tips for building up confidence and doing what you love no matter how hard, scary, or nerve-wracking it is. Tip number one. The best way to build up confidence is to simply do whatever it is you're trying to do confidently over and 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 over again. Just do it as much as possible because if it's what you truly love doing, well then you'll have fun with it and in the meantime you'll continue to get better and before you know it you'll be out vlogging in public in front of tons of people and someone will probably come up to you saying they respect you and you're very confident and just stuff like that good stuff like that so practice over and over and over again the confidence will come naturally it's just one of the best ways to get good at something obviously practice makes perfect tip number two Tip number two applies more to talking to someone about a job in a restaurant or a store that you're trying to take photos for rather than taking photos and videos in public. And tip number two is to just practice in the mirror. Practice your pitch, whatever you're going to say to the manager of the store over and over and over and over and over and over again. Just like last time. See, there's like some repetition here. Practice makes perfect, I'm telling you. But practice your pitch over and over again and pretty soon you'll have it down, it'll be stuck in your brain, and you'll be ready to go whenever you have the opportunity to talk to someone. They'll be impressed by the way you've seemed to have memorized what you're about to say and the confidence in how you say it, and that's gonna help out a lot. Tip number two and a half. Make sure you always do your hair nicely before you're talking to these people because um, I just noticed right now, but having messed up hair is uh, not good. and. Um, I'm sorry, I would have to like take a shower to fix this up and I I'm not doing that. So there you go, tip number two and a half. Make your hair nice. Tip number three, fake it till you make it. I can seriously not stress this concept enough. If you fake it till you make it, even if you don't have confidence in yourself while you're doing it, people will respect you a lot more. And this is the best way to quickly get clients, earn people's respect, and just build your name for yourself. Faking it till you make it, even if you don't have the confidence in yourself, if you just hold your head up high and you act confident, even if inside every single tendon and bone is trembling and you feel like you're about to explode into bits, this is gonna help you. I promise, faking it till you make it. You might feel dumb, but I'm 
know you've heard it before and there's a reason for that. It's extremely important and it will help you a lot more than you think. Oh, and uh, by the way, that was actually the first time I've ever yelled something in my alley. So uh, confidence, confidence is key. Will I do it again? Maybe, if you really want me to. But uh, confidence is key. These are my three tips for how you can either start to vlog more confidently in public, talk to a potential business partner, or even ask out a girl. It's true. These tips will work for that too. So uh, you, now you can thank me, you know. There you go. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll keep out putting videos like this to help you guys get better at photography, filmmaking, and dating. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, but before you guys go, check out some B-roll me and my buddy Micah got in New Buffalo, Michigan this past weekend. And yes, if you were wondering, that is where I uh, got this nice little tan I got going on here. So, B-roll in three, two, oh, just like the three tips I gave you. In three, good tips, huh? Okay, in three, two, I promise I'll do it this time. Three, two, one. And I almost forgot to mention, let me tell you real quick, we did the B-roll in public and we acted very confidently. So now, people will respect us. Although you probably don't respect me after I did that whole thing. Now we'll do the B-roll. I just had to let you know. Gotta bring it back to uh, the, the point of this video. Like a good YouTuber. Cause that's what I am.